Will, uh, not to focus on the past, but your last fight, I think a lot of people thought you gave a good effort considering the circumstances you ran, but you looked disappointed after that fight. What, what did you take from that one? Uh, well, the start of the fight tired. So, but, you know, like you said, I, I gave it my all, and uh, I really thought I won. Uh, you know, I just, I was getting the, I was controlling him, and he wasn't hurting me in the second round. I mean, he was throwing some strikes. I equal his strikes with my strikes, and except I controlled him. Yeah. Started the fight tired. Why, why were you tired to start? Because I wasn't in shape at all. <laughs> uh, so this would be interesting, you know. Uh, you guys haven't cool. seen me for a couple years, and uh, my last performance, you know, I was uh, had everything kind of against me. But uh, you know, I'm just ready to get out there and show you know how much improvement I've done over the years. Yeah, your opponent's got a lot of respect coming into this. A lot of people are looking at him as a top prospect. Do you do you agree with that? Do you think he's deserving of that hype? I think so. He's 21. You know, the game's changed. You get uh, a lot more at a lot younger age, it seems now. And, uh, you know, we'll see. I mean, I've made a career at 125 division beating prospects, undefeated prospects. And if you're not paying, if you, you know, if you're not recognizing that, then, you know, good for me. You know, I'll bet on myself. Yeah. That said, I mean, the UFC hasn't been kind to you. I know you've built up a nice career record, but the UFC, you know, waiting to get that win. What, what does that mean for you? I mean, do you feel like you need some, that, that win to kind of validate wh who you are as a martial artist? Well, you know, I mean, this is the second time in my UFC career, and I took that last fight short notice. Uh, I have to win, win. you know, that's, that's, the, you know that's, that's the thing. And uh, it's all right, whatever happens, happens, you know. I'm doing my best effort. Uh, William, ¿cómo te sientes prácticamente ya unos días de la pelea aquí en tu propia casa? Estoy listo, tengo mucha hambre y quiero, quiero salir y, le, y pienso vencer. A diferencia de tu última pelea, ¿cómo te has preparado en esta ocasión para no ser sorprendido como fue la vez pasada? Bueno, tuve ocho semanas de, de, de preparación y estoy fu, 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 fundamentalmente estoy listo, preparado en cualquier ángulo que me dé. ¿Qué diferencia hay estar aquí en tu propia casa con la gente que ya viene aquí mismo a apoyarte? ¿Qué sientes? Cuéntanos. Me da muchísimo gusto estar aquí con toda mi gente, mi raza y, y no, sigan con, con, con el amor. Gracias. ¿Cómo te sientes de que medios mexicanos vengan a cubrir la, la pelea que vas a participar? Me da mucho gusto, este, ha sido un, un sueño para mí, este, alcanzar lo que es el, el market la, la latino y este, ojalá me... Tengo una recepción para mí con abrazo abiertos. ¿Cómo te sientes de estar en tu propia casa junto alrededor de la gente que, que mexicana que te está apoyando? Me da, como dije, ya, me, me da mucho placer y me da mucho este, eh, placer estar aquí y pelear y ojalá lo vas a dar un mucho. ¿Qué, ¿Qué significa esta pelea para ti? Esta pelea tiene mucho significado, tengo que salir y tengo que, que ganar. Bueno, cuando dices que Justin pelea raro, Leite porque comentaste que tu modo de pelear es un poco extraño. ¿A qué te referías? Pelea como un mechida con muchas patadas de sidekick y este, mantiene su distancia. Este, no sé cómo va a pelear, si va a mantener esa distancia o va a venir con su, uh, con su agresividad, pero yo pienso ganar la puerta. ¿Has Will. tenido tus ocho horas de training cada día? O sea, ¿Te ves preparado? Sí, estoy, full. estoy listo. Como digo. ¿Conoces sus puntos débiles? Sí. Uh, Si los conozco y estoy, este, como, como ya dije, estoy este, hambriento y quiero salir, quiero ganar. Will, you're going to be wearing different shorts at, uh, at weigh-ins on Friday? Uh, no comment. <laughs> what exactly happened uh, last time? People were talking about us all over Twitter. Uh, nothing happened, you know, I didn't, it's happened to me before. Yeah. If you look at uh, my weight pictures, uh, yeah. when I don't cut weight, you know, uh, yeah. I, I, I like wearing bikini style underwear and that's that. Were you embarrassed that it was like all over Twitter and, and everything? Not at all. Uh, you know, you gotta own what you have, buddy. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> that's an excellent answer. Like it. Well, when you, uh, you obviously took those the last five on short notice, you were able to fight up at 135. You didn't have to deal with a weight guy. Now you're dealing with one. Uh, how's that going in for smaller guys? Can you give everybody an idea of you know, what that weight cut is like, even though it's, it's 10 pounds proportionally? Well, I'm a lot taller. A lot of the guys are smaller. 
So I'm really, really skinny, so when I cut weight, it really taxes all my muscles because I don't have, I just don't have any fat to cut. Uh, I'm like 12 pounds out right now, and I'm pretty drained. Mm -hmm. Are you, uh, you know, the, the, the idea of, uh, of bonuses always comes into play, uh, fight night uh, bonuses, but you're going to be fighting on Fight Pass, uh, which is a new thing since your last fight in the UFC. Have you had to tell friends and family and stuff, you know, like what the concept of Fight Pass is and how they can uh, subscribe to watch your fight and all that sort of thing? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I just tell everyone I'm fighting on TV and let them get disappointed if so. <laughs> I mean, I plan to make it a fight. Uh, hopefully, we'll get replayed. Uh, if not, well, it's cool. Mm -hmm. Does being at home make a difference for you? Are you happy to be, uh, you know, kind of like a home fight for you? No. Uh, I, you know, I like traveling, and this is why, you know, I, I love fighting because it takes you places. Uh, right. Fighting at home, you really, it's, you know, nothing. I would rather fight somewhere else, honestly. So. Does that have to do with just the pressure? Or? No, no, no. I just I like traveling. Like I said, uh, you know, I was fortunate to fight in Japan last year. I mean, fighting has taken me, you know, some cool places, and I just look, looking forward to it. Do you, do you treat it any differently? I mean, you stay in your house, do you stay in the hotel? Uh, do you treat it like you're on the road even though you're at home, or do you treat it your house? Uh, I'm staying home. Uh, you know, it's not any different, so the fight's a fight. I mean, does this inherently feel any different, though? Because obviously you're not getting on the airplane, you're not making all these preparations. Uh, I think that scenario is not really important. What's important here is that I have to win this fight. You know, it, it is my second chance in the UFC, so that's more so where the pressure comes from. But, uh, you know, as far as fighting here, it doesn't matter where the fight is. Will this, this, will this fight card is so much about the 170 pound division. There's so many big fights in that division. As a professional fighter, seeing what George St. Pierre has accomplished in his career, do you think he should come back sometime or has he done enough that he should just walk away from the sport? I think he's done enough. You know, uh, he held that belt, you know, to death and uh, those ribs and n n no one was able to accomplish uh, to take it away from him. And, uh, you know, the guy's done. You know, you, you know when you're burned out and uh, he knows he's done. And last question, obviously uh, testosterone has been banned very recently. Chael Sonnen said he may be done fighting because of it. Vitor Belfort lost a title shot because of it. Do you think that's a good thing for the sport or is it maybe bad that, that testosterone was banned? Well, I'm sad it's bad. It makes my career a lot shorter. You know? <laughs> but uh, I don't know. We'll let things you know, get figured out. Uh, I'm sure, guys, if you needed that battle, I'll find a way around. So. All right. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Thanks.